All right, my friends, let's take a look at my annual plan for my high school sprints group for 2012. I know we start in 2011, but I consider it the 2012 season. Let's go over the basics. As you know, I've covered the, the general ideas behind the annual plan in the past, but I just want to look at some of the main things. First and foremost, as you can see, I run a double peak. But remember, my main goal is to run as fast as we can, you know, outdoors. So everything I'm doing here this season and every season really is based on the idea that it's not just about these 12 weeks or you know these uh weeks to the indoor season and an indoor season which is about a 13 week season for our focus but also outdoors so you got to keep those things in mind also when you look at here and I put my competitions in I have we have four tri meets this winter that's all I know I don't know when they are they're not in here in the spring our state schedule is not out so this is based on last year might be wrong but this is what I'm using and I sure don't know when our dual meets are. So don't freak yourself out about the annual plan. It is a guide to help narrow things in. Let's go through it quickly. And again, I'm just going to say what I'm doing this year, not kind of go back behind it. Indoor, outdoor. Again, for us, yes, I know that I'm going to have kids going to nationals in and outdoor. But my main focus is on winning our, is being as fast as we can for our state championship. That is where we live. And that is what I want to focus on. Other important thing, something that's a little bit different or at least more focused than I've done in the past this general prep period so if you look say the first 12 weeks of the season I call it just on the average I am treating right Monday after Thanksgiving is our first day of practice Monday November 28th as you can see I'm starting in specific preparation not starting in general preparation and here's the reason just like you have to consider meets like hard practice days I'm gonna consider the fall or what they did before they got there as their general preparation phase so I only have 13 weeks to all states I don't have time to you know spend a month doing general prep type of stuff let's get right into it so I most of my kids boys and girls come from soccer and or uh, some cross-country runners so I know what that overall they're going to have no issue with aerobic work because soccer players just do a lot of aerobic work. Training-wise, cross-country runners, obviously, a lot of aerobic work. So we're getting right into speci uh, specific preparation for my phase. Six weeks of it, going into the pre-competitive phase, main competitive phase. Right? Remember, when we get outdoors, we're not going to, I'm not going to go back and start over uh, at general prep. I'm going to do a quick three-week special prep and then boom, right back into it. Why? Because I have to write the program for really my best group on the team so kids who did not do indoor they're gonna come outdoors it may be gonna be a little bit too specific for them maybe but what do you want me to do indoors uh, yeah I might have volleyball players or football players maybe well they do a lot of aerobic stuff too that may not have the 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 aerobic base that I'm assuming but what do you want me to do I gotta start somewhere don't don't go crazy so we're gonna come in right in special prep have a little good longer competitive phase uh, that's the way I'm looking at things mesocycles right something I'm doing this year that's a little bit more specific than I've done in the past is themes having themes to my training periods and I try to line the themes up with my training phases just because it's easier for me again I got a short high school season so got the kids in the fall they're doing a butt a bunch of aerobic work um, they're doing that kind of stuff. So I'm going to come in first six weeks of the season. Again, because my, my long-term view is outdoors. First main theme I'm going to focus on that they're not probably getting enough of from a technical standpoint or just a pure training standpoint is speed work. I'm going to focus primarily on speed, developing speed and the technique and the skills of speed. And as a secondary theme, I'm going to develop lactic capacity, right? General term. So from a specificity standpoint, these kids are probably not don't have good lactic capacity particularly talking about 200 on the lower end but 300 definitely and 400 runners what's one of the main reasons they can't run fast times they can't finish their first 200 or this, their last hundred in the 300 or last 200 in the 400 uh, is terrible too much of a gap so I have to focus uh, on developing this quality so these are gonna be my main goals for that first theme Second theme, specific endurance in the pre-competitive phase. So we're going to get faster, more specific. And secondarily, my theme is going to be strength. 
So the majority of the stuff I'm going to be doing is going to be based around these qualities. In, this, in the pre-competitive phase, based around these qualities. In the main competitive phase or the peaking phase, uh, and for me at the high school level, what do I call peaking? I don't have anything fancy I do for peaking. I just stop training so hard. That last, you know, as you can see here, gearing up toward for the peaking phase, we got you know a, uh, a week off here. This is probably going to be actually a uh, maybe a big meet in the state level, a relay meet. Division three state championship, our second most important, or first or second, depending on who you are. All states, New England's, meh. People don't really go to New England's that much anymore on the highest levels because they're getting ready for nationals. Transition period, then we're going to outdoors. I'm not even going to talk about outdoors except to say, see how I don't have any themes here? Because I have no idea what's going to happen that far away. So I don't know what the themes could be. In fact, these themes could change. But, but Latif, what if I don't want to do speed and lactic capacity? What if I want to do aerobic or work capacity and strength work first theme. Okay. If that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. But what if I want to do special endurance and uh, power? Okay. Uh, well, those aren't really compatible. But you know what I mean. Uh, you have to focus on what you think is going to be best. That's the art of coaching. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at my season this winter as a whole. This special preparation, six weeks. Most mesocycles are about four weeks, but I'm going to go six weeks here. It's a perfect time to unload because some of the, the better kids are going to be going to Dartmouth Relays. Not a fast track, but a great competitive meet. I try to line things up here with where I want to be starting backwards. Do that. Do your annual plan. Now that I can see this annual plan, it's easy for me to understand. Okay, well, and again, we'll get more specific with themes here, but I know that we're doing special prep type work with a speed and lactic capacity theme for this first six weeks basically of the season. Well knowing that it's a lot easier to decide what I want to do based on where I want to go. So this is my annual plan. Here are the basically our meets. Here's basically my plan. Very easy or relatively easy for me to figure out where I want to plug things in. I won't go too crazy. If you have questions, well just post them.